Uh, the first time I ever filmed you, you were still an amateur, mm -hmm. and now you're 12 and 0. What's the biggest difference between that Julian Rodriguez and this? Gonzalez. Oh, I'm sorry, Ju Gonzalez. Julian Gonzalez. <laughs> it's all good. I, I was just talking to Jonathan. I was just talking to Jonathan. It's all good. Yeah. You know, I say the biggest, the biggest difference is, you know, uh, I matured. You know, I matured and I got smarter mentally, and I got more comfortable in the ring. You know, and you know, my stream, my team got stronger. You know, just from staying, staying loyal. You know, and you know that's what it is, really. Okay. Now you just came off of uh, a training camp with Javante Davis. Yeah. Do you feel like that added to your development? Yeah, of course. You know that that gave me confidence. You know, at the the most. You know, because if we go in there, when I go in there, I'll be like, he's not a Javante Davis. I was in there with Tank. He's not a Tank. You know, so you know, ex my example it matured me. Going in there with Tank matured me definitely in, in my fighting and stuff like that. So. So, how was the experience with Tank? You know, uh, they say Tank taking a lot of his guys to the hospital. A lot of guys got to go to the hospital, sparring with him. Did you experience that while you was there? No, nah, I didn't go to the hospital. No, I know not you. <laughs> I know not you. You know what I'm saying? But did any other sparring partners that was there, did anybody get actually hurt and uh, um, had to go to the hospital? He's supposed to talk about sparring. <laughs> the first, you know, he had a couple guys in there, but nah, they didn't go to, they didn't go to the hospital. You know, I was... Uh, we sparred two days. The first day we only did a few rounds, and then the the next day I did six straight with him, and then nobody else went in after me. Mm. But you know, tank, 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 tank is tank. tank, is tank bro. So being in that being in that camp, uh, do I do you think that give you leverage over the the fighters like when you gotta um, fight? Yeah, you know, cause they might have not been in there with with that type of experience and that type of IQ. Tank got a high IQ, you know. And he's I'm gonna pick up on stuff that they didn't pick up on. You know, especially with Southpaw too, because you know, tank tank crack. So you know, it helps me going in there with Southpaw. And like I said, I go in there and I be like, this guy's not a tank. You know, so it definitely helps. When you talked about his adjustments, you said his IQ is probably the biggest takeaway from that. Mm -hmm. Now, how long did it take you to make adjustments off of his adjustments? I had to adjust quick. That's another thing. You know, you gotta adjust when he adjusts. You know, mm -hmm. if not, then you just in, you're gonna stay where you at, and he's gonna take advantage of that. You know, but you know, tank was a great word. After that session. How long can we see Julian Gonzalez on world level? On a what? On world level. A world level? Yeah. Like I said, we're going to take it one fight at a time, you know, one punch at a time, you know, and we're going to get there eventually. But, you know, I don't want to say too much, but, you know, we almost there. How active would you like to be in 2024? Um, you know, just as active as my team wants me to be, you know, I, I, just, I just fight. You know, they give me a date, they give me an opponent, I go in there and I strap up, you know, so... You know, as, as, as many times they want me to fight this year, I'm, I'm going to be in there.